to our listeners. So welcome to Coffee Break with me, a library podcast. So later in this podcast, we will hear a bit more about our special guest, uh, where she will share why the books and the library hold such a place in her heart. So without further ado, let me introduce to you our very special guest in today's episode, Miss Frances Russell Paddy. So hello, Miss Frances. I'm fine. I'm good. So so excited for this interview. I have so many questions prepared just for you. So now, let's talk about your love for reading, your love for books, and the library. So, hi again everyone. So, again, I'm Frances Rosal Padin. Um, I graduated from the University of San Carlos, Bachelor of Library and Information Science last 2018. And in fact, um, Minette is my classmate. We graduated in the same year in, in USC. And right now, uh, I'm working here in St. Teresa's College of Cebu as a Reader Services Librarian. And um, this is the second school that I've been working because, uh, so yeah, so 2018, I graduated 2018 and so I've been working like for three years already and for STC, it's like um, more than two years now. Mm, okay. At what point in your life did you decide to become a librarian? Why did that uh, uh, interest you? Uh, at first, I really did not know about about being a librarian because when I was still a kid, uh, I wanted to do so many things. I wanted to be a nurse because I'm, I really like to wear that white cap and also the white uniform of nurses. And then I also like to be a reporter because I want to appear on TV. And then I also wanted to become a teacher because my, my mother is also mm. a teacher. And then there's also a time I wanted to be a lawyer because I want to be a judge and then I want to hold katong like that so judges and then you will say order in the court or something wow. like that and then, <laughs> yeah so i really have so many things that i want to do and then when i reached elementary um i also wanted to take up accountancy because many of my classmates wanted to become an accountant also and then when i reached um high school um there was also even a time when I wrote that I wanted to become an environmentalist. <laughs> wow. Sedangkan mo nung nung ganahan, oi. It's really a long journey be- before I come to a de- decision to pursue library science. So, even when I took the UP entrance exam and also the USC entrance exam, um, I indicated accountancy and also political science. So, Ooh. Yes, but then when it's time ty- it's when it's already time for enrollment so we um uh, my mom is a friend sa guidance something uh guidance staff there in usc downtown campus so we had a little bit of kind of talking with the guidance staff and then like somewhat like a career counseling and then um, I shared to her nga, the librarian of uh, kanang, of my high school shared about kanang library and information science and then it somewhat interested me because for me like the name or the course name is like major social so <laughs> became interested. So what is that the library and information and especially in the information science part so I asked the guidance staff and then she shared to me that librarians are really in demand though. so even though nga, kanang, the students have not yet graduated, but then many mm. schools or mga organizations are already looking for mm. librarians. That somehow also like encouraged me nga, lo, kanang, even if kanang, fresh grad pa ka or wala pa ka naka-graduate, kay, kanang, there are already a lot of job opportunities na mm. I for librarians also. And then I also became interested po because, because she said that Kanang life size students are only few. And then mm-hmm. I also wanted nga kanang few lang po ang classmates so that the bond will become stronger. So that's just like what <laughs> we are experiencing right now, even though we don't meet every month or every week. But then when we come together, diba, sa tong batch, we're still oh. very close. We still joke a lot yeah. and laugh a lot. So 
I believe that the bond is really strong because <laughs> panang, we're only few in our class. <laughs> also, panang, bif, diba, pag uh, high school, like, uh, I really did not kanang plan jun nga diba nga to take up library and information science because it was a last minute decision. Like, I decided mm-hmm. to take up library science on the day of the enrollment na because ano? I. Um, oh, okay. Ako entrance exam is political science and accountancy. Like, mm. <laughs> then, uh, fortunately, nakapas jud ko sa duha, but then ni shift ko to, I mean, not shift, but then akong gipat change ako ang enrollment form to bliss. Mm. Bec- so, also, so during po sa fourth year high school, uh, my parents also really wanted me to take up um civil engineering because tanang morag for themselves they also personally they also like to become civil engineering civil mm-hmm. engineers like my mother is a teacher but then really wanted to take up civil engineering and then my father is kanang a contractor kanang sa mga buildings and houses mm-hmm. but then so morag ilahang a failure is kanang sa civil engineering so mm-hmm. morag because of the financial no difficulties during mm-hmm. those times they were not able to pursue it and so somehow like they also wanted me to like to also pursue that dream but then ang ako yung inclination like my heart really belongs to the academic setting and then I, so there's also a part of me i also wanted to take up education because i want to be with us with the kids i want to work in a school and something like that. then there's also a part of me nga, i also wanted to become a teacher because i'm more exposed into the teaching field compared to the engineering field because I used to accompany my mother there in the school because she's a teacher. So, but then uh, I wanted to become a teacher, but then I'm also hesitant to pursue it because growing up, I saw my mother, you know, she's always very busy in her school works, paper works, and then mm-hmm. lessons, lesson plans, grades, and mga papers that needs to be checked and everything like that. So, so I wanted to become a teacher, but then Morag, I don't want to be busy because diba, if you are a teacher like associated na that ang mga business ni mo and something like that. So as a librarian, Morag, I think and I believe na this is the field also nga. I get to become more like a teacher, but then not really a teacher, but then I can work also in the academic setting and also be with the kids. So, yeah, so I believe nga being a librarian kay, can also, like, fulfill my kanang, my interest ba, like, working in an mm-hmm. academic setting, research, being with kids, and mga inana nga mga things. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I'm happy to become a librarian also. Was there a thought that you will work in a school library? Before, kay, before, during our college years, kay, I wanted to work in a, like, in a corporate library or in a special mm-hmm. library because more, lang more nindot siguro no nga, kanang more, a new, kanang a new kind of librarian, but because we can, we can always see nga librarians working in schools and something like that. But then, ako pong think nga, nindot mo siguro ang librarian nga working in the corporate field, like, ikaw ba ang librarian sa, sa ka company or even sa hospital or something in ana. But then, more, Ganahan judi ko sa kids, ganahan judi ko to the students and mga in ana o nga mga butang. So, maod to. So, na-realize na ako nga, mas preferred jud na ako ang school or ang mga university libraries. Can tell us the work of a school librarian? Um, so, as a school librarian, so my main... Uh, job here is a reader services librarian we also have a cataloger and then we also have a media center librarian as for me i'm the reader services librarian so i am not into cataloging books but i am more into organizing activities and programs for the students to be involved like mm. for the students to feel that then there's really a library that the library mm. is not just a place where there are books yeah. but then it's also a place na the students can gather and participate in activities like related to information literacy. So mm. yes, I do that. I do mga library orientation and instruction mm-hmm. um during kanang during breaks like lunch time or recess time nila or after cla- or during class dismissal. So I get to also to interact with the kids or the students 
that go here in the library. So, so yes, I'm more into engagement with the students or kids. Mm. So, so I'm more into organizing activities for them so that they can really feel the presence of the library here in mm. our school. So what is your favorite thing about being a school librarian? Uh, my most favorite thing about being a school librarian is that um, I get to be with the students or I get to be with the kids. So I also feel like I'm also like kind of a teacher, although I do not kind of teach every day in the classroom. But then I get to be with the kids, like I get to kind of to be with them, close with them and something like that. So more like fulfill put a dream of becoming a teacher kay per me mang surrounded with students and then uh, before i also experienced working in a university library so the the clients there are kind of mga professors or mga mm -hmm. college students but then now that i'm here in a school library like different tragedy ang energy sa mga elementary and yeah. high school students compared sa college students mm -hmm. like as the as of energy ang, ang elementary and high school so because they their energy levels are still high so more ma, high put imuhang energy compared sa sa college na more the students are more serious na kanang more into kanang focus into the study so more ikaw pud nga librarian so more mas serious na pud ka if you're into the college library but when you're into the school library um mahawa ka sa kanang ma, ma more matakdan ka sa energy oh, sa mga oh, students. Oh. More dinadtud kay sa feeling ah when you go to the school na idaghan man great ni mang great ni mo hi mm -hmm. miss good morning miss mm -hmm. so something like that but then when you're in the college library kay wala well, ako naka-experience na ay mo great na ko og inana oh, oh, kay yes na kay ang mga students mm -hmm. but then when you're in a school very enthusiastic kay ang mga students very energetic so ikaw po maski dili kanila teacher but then uh -uh. you already know their names then uh -uh. more ma close na pud kanila so mm. that's what i like about being a school librarian also so what's the most rewarding part the part of being a school librarian kay uh -uh. there are times no no nga students for example in their investigatory projects that they wanted to look for kanang materials or resources to support their studies and then when i will and then there are times na like most of the times i can really give them the resources that the resources that they need and then they will really be happy you can really feel the kanang genuine smile nila and ilahang saying of thank you kay na answer jud ang ilahang problems like may sila halam miss gaun sa tunay mo nakit ang lagi nimo wa lagi mi kita ani and so mga ingon ana nga mga things so you can really feel nga sincere sila sa ilang thank you especially if na address jud nimo ang ilahang mga problems or ilahang mga needs no problem na happy siya na happy pud ka kay wala ni gawas ang student nga disappointed na na satisfied jud ang iyahang nga mga iyang mga research needs so mm. yes yeah, so that's very kanang that's what all, i also like about being a librarian also what makes you busy nowadays uh, aside from being a librarian what makes me busy these days kay ko on um, I'm kind of looking for scholarships for masteral program, so mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking yes. into those available scholarships and maybe um if I can really kind of comply the requirements, so maybe can I can submit the requirements and hopefully I can be accepted. And also aside from that, mm -hmm. I'm also kind of trying to find time to study because um last year i mean last 2020 so i finished my certificate of professional education and since i already finished that course so i'm already eligible to take the license and licensure examination for professional teachers so so hopefully so i'm also studying the education for the prep in preparation for the board exam but then uh, aside from that what also keeps me busy during these days, Kai, last Sam, kanang, they offered me like a teaching position, like a part time teaching position. So since that semester is over na, so right now I'm into the checking of papers and also grading the students' work. 
So that's what I also like about kanang being kana a school librarian also and also finishing the certificate of professional education because kanang aside from being a librarian I can also like teach that even though I'm also busy I still find time to watch K drama. <laughs> Uh, can okay. you tell us about the scope of your reading life? Um, as for the scope of my reading life, so before, you no, know, before, uh, during like my uh, preschool days or during elementary days, so I can remember nga, the first time that nakaangkon ko ug book or nakaon ko ug book kay, was when my mother um bought. Cinderella and Snow White na story books. And then kato siya, um she bought that in a kanang school supplies na store there in our town and then it's also like a coloring book. And then that's the first time I think as far as I can remember that was the first time that kanang I learned to love books. Mm. Uh reading reading Cinderella and Snow White over and over again. So mm. that's when I got to love books. So I can still remember nga, Cinderella and Snow White like are my kalang, most favorite fairy tales because those are the kanang fairy tales ako jung first nga na nakuan ba na hibawan and mm-hmm. then during also yes during also my <laughs> elementary days like um during my elementary days um I was enrolled in a public school and then as far as I can remember there was a time or like a day in a week nga Call, called a dear session like drop everything and read mm-hmm. like sure after after lunch break like there was one hour siguro or 30 minutes and all the students i drop everything and read so stop everything that you're doing and then grab a book and read and then after that after the time is over then the teacher will ask a volunteer to share what you have read so maybe uh i think uh, that was that Kanang activity also helped me become a reader. And then after those years, like mga grade one, grade two, or grade three, a dear session, like drop everything and read session. When I reached grade four and grade five, kay, I learned to write stories. Wow. <laughs> like, love stories, huh? <laughs> like as early as grade four or grade six or grade five, kay, I learned na to to write love stories. So well, love I, story, I, Pajun. <laughs> yeah, so I have a notebook and then there I write my mga imagination na gani so di ba bata pa lang kilig-kilig. <laughs> Pero sa imuhang story dili ka obida. Or na uh, times oh, nga. Lang, uh, um the name is different but then more ako imagine ako ang main character. <laughs> <laughs> and so no I write kanang I write those stories. Um, the stories are in Tagalog. Mm-mm. And then after class, okay, there are my classmates will borrow that notebook because they also want to read the progress of my story. Wow. So more na ko, go, wow, right there, the I go. Okay, after Anna, I return na sa kong classmates the next day. May ingon sila nga. Once you sumpay sa animong story, once you muha, once you mahitab ni ko an, ni ko an, and so on. So, 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 imagine na po ko, kung ano, once na po ako, I continue to make the story more exciting. Uh-uh. And, and so being so at time so I believe nga katong na great right na kung at time so I believe nga that was also influenced by my reading mm. habits also yeah so aside from reading books I also like to read magazines so there was also a time nga kana I collect candy magazine katong mga back issues of candy magazine ah. because the back issues are sold at a cheaper price compared uh-huh. if they're reaching an issue. So, mag-atang ko sa old na issue and then ako siya ing i-collect and then after that, ato na ko mag-read. So, nakuha na ko siya at a cheaper price and then, muto, ako na siya i-collect so more. Nako yung collection po of candy magazine. So, I also like to read pain, uh, magazines. Also, the disadvantage nowadays, no, kay Ooh. during our elementary and high school days, like, internet and cell phones oh, is not that kanang kanang kusog pa ba so we have time to do write or to read mm-mm. but now kanang we're very distracted na sa use mm-mm. of gadgets diba what oh, type na sigitag scroll kay one hour na detong na spend oh, sa oh. scrolling na sa facebook and 
sumurag ana sa but then yeah. if you spend that time reading mm. ilan siguro ka pages si imong na read oh maud jud niya usually ang mga kuan na sad karon ang mga books kay na, na movie na oh. daghan na jud ka ayo so that's why yes also nga murag right now i prefer na pud movies compared to books kay di ba more i don't have that much time na pud to read oh, oh. books i don't have the luxury of time to read books so that's why if there's a kana a move about this book so I'll go immediately na lang for the movie because oh, oh, oh. if movie it's like one hour or two hours lang but then if mm-hmm. a book is very koan so but then I still mm-hmm. ha, I still really have books during Big Bad Wolf na book sale I re- I buy lot of lots of books but then wala na ko siya nabasa sa so mura siya like nag hoard ko og books because oh. I still really love books but then it's just that I don't have the luxury of time to read them if maka read ko like siguro half lang sa book and then after that mura siya mas stop and then so mura siya magputol-putol na ako pag read dili na din siya ka nang ma-continue gani so so daghan na ka reading, books sa inyo ha oh napa ko yung mga books nga but, mura kag naay ka nang mini library Oh, yes. <laughs> Can <laughs> elementary pa ko? I already have like a mini library. But then, oh. ay, diba, my mother is a teacher. So, uh-huh. kanang, at the end of the school year, kanang, she will bring home mga old textbooks, mga something in Anna. So, I also arrange those textbooks there in my mini shelf. And uh-huh. then, since you still don't know the concept of cataloging and arranging books, I arrange the books according to their size. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, less. So, that's okay. Well, pa matay concept ato of cataloging since elementary Uh-oh. pa. So, I arrange the books according to their size. And then, there was also a time, gani nga, I, anang, I was very happy because my mother bought kanang, an, kanang a dictionary. Like, that mm-hmm. was the first time nga, kanang, na kanang dictionary. So, feeling na nabaga pa <laughs> yung siya. But there was a time po, sa pagka na elementary na ko nga my classmate told me nga kanang her mother daw kanang bought kanang in, an entire set of encyclopedia so pila hmm? na siya ka volume ko holo ko nin wow, do sa like, yeah. so okay, since i know nga an uh, a set of encyclopedia is very kanang oh. expensive that's yeah. why when my mother bought a dictionary i'm already very happy nga sa dictionary when <laughs> 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 i sa dictionary and then since kanang i really want to read the dictionary like the, mm-hmm. i even attempted to read the dictionary page mm-hmm. by page like diba na no words and then the description like ako just get try to read pero like pila ra to ka pages sa kong nahuman yeah. and also when i was still also in elementary diba kanang there are groups of cleaners and then um included sa among areas among cleaning area is the library so during the cleaning time Okay. there was a time I really want to read this book but then we don't have a librarian we don't kana, yes we don't have a librarian so the library is just closed but then there are books but then students are not allowed to enter but then um, kami nga student pwede mo enter kay kami ang cleaners sa library so since I don't know man nga kinsa kung panang here or something Anna, and that I know it's wrong so what I tried to do is that I tried to get a book that I want, like mga one or two books, and then I know nga it's wrong. Kaya wala ko na ng hit. So what I tried to do is that ako siya gitago sa kong sa kong sayan, skirt, <laughs> so that like mga Thursday or Friday, so ako siyang kuha o ako siya isud sa kong skirt, and then after that ako po siya is secretly sold sa kong bag. Nga para dili ko nakahiwa ako mga classmates nga nagkuha ako ng books. And then during the weekend, like Saturday or Sunday, magreed na ako sa book. And then one time, nakita ko sa kong mama nga nagreed ko ng book. Nanaingon siya, di ito ka na nga book. Wala nang tayo na nga book. In, so, ako hindi ingon kay pinuha na ako sa library. Kasi hindi pa nang hiran. Eh, kung wala ko din nang hiran, ako ragisod sa kong sayal. <laughs> morag, di ba, early pa siya, mga grade 4 or grade 5 pa ko. So, morag, what to, morag, na naday involvement po ang library sa kong life. So, I really cannot forget that moment nga. Once in my life, nang try ko og steal of book. But, hindi rin siya ingon na stealing kay after anak nga day. Kaya ako rin po siya ingon. But then, kay makadbook man ko nung no, nga, makitaan ko nga, nagkuha day kong books, and nag-uli na ako. Ako na po siya isood sa kong sayal. 
And then, so nice na experience, uy. Namasood ko sa library, ako siya isood sa kong sayal, and then, nag-abot na na ako sa shelf, na di na ako siya gikuas. Ako po siya, ikan isecretly, kuas ako sa nako, ibalik sa shelf. Kaya para wala dyan ako kita, nga na di, na di kagikuha nga book. So, more funny po to siya na ako nga experience, nga memorable. Where do you find the books that you read? Uh, when I was still in elementary, kanang, I really love fairy tales or mga short stories, mga myths and legends of the Philippines. So I really love to read those books. And then when I reached high school, um, I used to read katong sa mga magazines because I'm not allowed to read katong ganing mga booklet ng mga love story. Kanang kanang usually mo confiscate siya during class hours kaya mga students mag read anak. So yeah, so my mother did not allow me to own those kinds of books, katong mga romance, mga, romance. Mga, mga, ah, mga pocket books. Oh yes, mga pocket books. I'm not allowed to read those books kay ko ano daw, for, for adults right now, and I'm still in high school. So during high school, so I love to read magazines, katong mga candy magazines, and in Anna. And then when I reached college, and until now, kay I love to read na po mga self-help books, kanang mga books, mga inspirational nga books. Kanang mura ka nang usa na usa nga books, kanang chicken soup mo ba na? Oh, mga something in Anna. Oh, oh. Kanang mga ka food, ah, mga food, mga book para ma-nindot imo hang feelings sa imong self, ma-boost imong confidence, mga ano nga mga book na po pero. Mura ka lahi na gid nung basta magka basta magka edad ka ba kay maglahi lahi na imong ganahan nga genre nga basahon. Oh, so many so adulting na ano <laughs> adulting stage <laughs> oh. uh, so um one book that you would recommend to our listeners uh that they should read once in their life uh i have mentioned before no nga, there's an ebook nga kanang i'm reading but then wala pa siya na human so it's called nga, 13 things mental um uh, 13 things mentally strong people don't do so in this book so there are 13 things or there are 13 naghatag like, 13 tips on how to be mentally strong or like or 13 things mentally strong people don't do so don't do the i so like kanang mentally strong people don't dwell in the past don't blame mm-hmm. others or something and then, so i believe na it really helped me also to overcome also my like mga personal problems or mga personal yeah. issues because especially during the pandemic everything a lot a lot of things happened so i tried to read this book and then find comfort in this kanang sa mga advice sa author so yeah so and then also when i became a part time teacher um, I handled personal development in senior high school. And then, you know, um, I also tried to incorporate the things that I've learned in this book into the into my teaching, especially when we reach the topic about mental health and also emotional health. So this book can really help a lot. So again, the title of the book is 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do. So it contains a lot of tips on for you Kanang to help you on how to deal with your kanang mental kanang mental health. Uh, I have. So, what would you like to our listeners that you want them to absorb? Like, uh, you want them to absorb the love of reading and as well as the library. Um, the thing that I can like advise to them is that, especially if those if the listeners already have kids or kanang already planning to start a family and then they want their children to love books and to love reading. So what I can suggest is that to start young. So as early as possible, like mga three or five years old, even before they start schooling. So as much as possible, like kanang introduce already books or like mga coloring books. So that's already a very good introduction for kids to love books. So last Christmas, um, my cousin, so mga mga magagmay pa na ako ng cousin. So what I kanang give to gave to them last Christmas is that books. So I went to book sale and then like nagspend should go like mga one hour or two hours just to find the perfect the like, the right book for this kid. Like there are three kids na kongitagaan and then so yeah. So I tried to give them books and then you know the other kid. She's very happy saying so, I received a book and then her mother said nga, 
Pagkatug daw sa bata, kaya dyan nga gitapan iya hangabu. Because she really liked the gift. So, so diba, as early as, as early as possible, so try to introduce reading and book also to the kids. So you can we can start the, with the coloring books or with mga fairy tales and something like that. And also from there, from from the love of reading and for the love of books, so pwede na ma-enhance ang ilahang sigur, writing skills, lang vocabulary, mas ma-widen pa ilahang vocabulary because if there are words nga wala na ko na substance, akong gireed nga books kay I immediately consult the dictionary mm-hmm. and then see nga unsa the meaning ani nga word and then after that when I already got to learn the meaning of that word kay after that kay ako na pud siya i try to use sa akong mga essays sa akong mm-hmm. mga speech and in the like if imo pag in daily life diba oh so daily life <laughs> so nindot kay bitaw sa feeling nga uh, you learn a lot of things out of reading mm-hmm. so so nowadays also kay aside from no Um, we, we should also put in mind that reading, love of reading is not only limited to reading books. There are a lot of things that you can be source, you can be a source of reading like mga news articles, mga, ano, mga news articles. So right now, I'm also into reading news articles, especially yeah. with the things that's happening Mm-mm. around the world and also in the Philippines. So I really also try to read news articles even if the ask is in news article okay i also like try to read that news article so that i can really get the facts and also the truth because mm-hmm. yeah so because also from reading if kana if magsalig lang ganin ka sa headline dili mm-hmm. mo siya basa ko ng whole article so pwede na ka ma misguided na ka oh, yeah. so it's also really important may imo jong basa ko ng whole whole problem or a whole mm-hmm. article so that kanang ang imuha nga ang mga kanang sakto jud imong maabsorb nga mga things and not katong mga fake news especially nga uso na kaayo ng fake news um, bye. bye bye thank you so thank you everyone for listening and tune in for our next episode bye